Yo, how is everyone doing today? My name is Connor, but you can call me Superior. And today, this gameplay I have is a flawless free-for-all KM with the SA-805 on the map Prison Break. Now, the SA-805 is a weapon that really hasn't seen much use for myself, and I never really die by it or see anyone using it in public matches. Um, it's also a gun that is on the default class. Now, whenever I prestige or anything, and I need a gun to use or just a default class to use, I like to use an SA-805. It is a very good gun, and it kind of makes the game more fresh. And th I know that doesn't make sense, me saying it now, but I'll let me explain myself. So, the three main guns that I've been using throughout the entire Call of Duty Ghost length up to this point has been the Remington, the AK-12, the or and the Honey Badger, and a little bit of the Amtar here and there. But that's a pretty much been the main guns that I've been using. And... For that reason, since I've only used those few guns, I realize that that may be making this game a little old for me. You know, it kind of feels like I've done it all, I've been there, done that, and it just gets old. So, I decided to throw on some different guns. And one of them being the SA-805, which is now one of my favorite guns, just because it is low recoil, high rate of fire, and moderate damage, which leads to a deadly gun, especially in the, in the right hands. So... Um, you know, if you are getting tired of this game, and it's, you know, it's something that it feels, even though the game's only been out for two months, it feels like it's been out for, like, three years, which I can honestly say it feels like that. So if you're in the same boat as me, and you guys are just looking for something to freshen the game up, to liven it up, or anything like that, slap on the SA-805. The only thing I can tell you about it, or the only recommendation I have for you, is put on grip. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when I say put on grip... Put on grip because I learned that the hard way before I was using silencer and extended mags which has been my class set up for nearly every class for as long as I can remember just because the extended mags always whenever you're running up on someone in domination and you find more than one person you need that extended mags especially I do because my accuracy couldn't be any worse. But in this case scenario, I was playing free-for-all. I realized, you know, this is a pretty high recoil gun. And um, since we're not playing Dom and I shouldn't run into too many more enemies, I shouldn't really have a problem with getting overwhelmed by people. So I thought, it, I thought I'd thought i be rather safe than sorry, and I threw on the grip, and it paid off because you'll see a couple times I'm able to pick some kids off sitting on that, that big ledge going up to the um, where the cut tree stumps are, or um, whether it be a camper in a corner, anything grip, is working for you every time you're pulling the trigger you know normally if you were to be pulling the trigger you didn't have grip on you know your recoil would be going all over the place no matter what, if it's a close range gunfight or a long range gunfight or anything like that so that's one of the reasons i like to put grip on just because it's always working for you. you know it never works against you now something interesting about this KEM strike, this exact one in the gameplay this was actually my 50th KEM. now about Two or three weeks ago, I think it was, I started the Road to 100 KEMs. Now, it's a series that I'm doing on Twitch, or not really doing actively, but I'll stream once every, like, two weeks and, you know, just update the chem count pretty much. But um, it's a series that, or just basically a goal I've set for myself. I wouldn't really call it a series. For about about three weeks ago, I started, and I've already gotten 50 chems. I don't think that's too good, but I don't think it's too shabby either. Um, I think it's more than like the average person would have got i think the average person would have about like 40 now so um it's not that good but i'm proud of myself you know considering the game's only been out for two months and i already have 50 chems and like the first month and a half or month or whatever was spent playing competitive and not going for kems i think having 50 two months into the game is absolutely crazy and if i continue on this pace now let's see if i have 50 in two months time that by six i will have about 300 km strikes by the time the next call of duty comes out now that is insane um you know hopefully i can get that hopefully i can stay on this track keep doing what i'm doing and i'll be able to get more km strikes but um, that is about it for this gameplay, guys. I really hope you do and you did enjoy. Um, I know the KEM strike wasn't the fastest of all KEM strikes, but um, it's just it's a fun class for you guys to try out. You guys don't have to use my exact class that I'm running in this video. Um, but you know, throw on your twist for it. If you like red dot sight, throw on red dot sight. If you don't want suppressor, then don't put on suppressor. Um, it's all up to you as far as what class you want to use. But um, if you are new to the channel, please click the subscribe. We are almost at 700 subscribers, guys. I want to hit that more than anything in the world. Or maybe that's a little looks over at exaggeration, but I want to hit it, guys, and you guys can help me do that. But if you enjoyed, click the like button. It really does help me out. Leave any comments you had on the video in the comment section down below. Other than that, have a fantastic, fantastic day, guys. Peace out.